So you see here the template that we're working with here. And uh, what we want to do now is assign a sequence to it. So in this case, there's no sequence existing right now. So when I hit the start button, right, it's coming up and it's asking me what is he doing. So you know he has to get the work order. We hit the time, now he's walking to storage and so forth. So you can see I'm having to make selections here. After he does that, he's maybe getting a part. It's a medium part. And then we hit the time when it finishes here. And he's going to pack. And when it finishes, you hit the time, and then he's going to update the order sheet. And when he finishes, we'll stop it right there. Okay, so now we want to automate that process, because that's a repetitive operation. So what we do is we touch the uh, elements down here, and the screen will change. And now you see all the individual elements here. Now you can see the sequence column over here on the left, and indeed it is blank. So what we want to do now is start adding sequence numbers in here. So the first uh, item is going to be uh, next to get work order. So we touch that one there. And then we select the option to say uh, value. So we're going to put a value in here. And we're going to say number one. So we just touch it. OK. And it puts a one in there. Now we go on to the walk to storage, which is going to be our number two. So we click on value and we touch it. We put a two, we click on the OK, puts it in there. The get part medium is going to be our number three. We do a value, we touch it, we put in a three, we click on the OK, it puts it away. We scroll down, we're looking for the pack now, we touch it, do the value, uh, put in number four, OK, and then we click the update order sheet. It's going to be our last one, value. And that's going to be our step number five. Okay, so you can see here I've, I've assigned numbers one, two, three, four, and five down here. So now we go back. Now in this case, always use the back at the top right. That'll take us back. And now we start. It automatically brings up get work order. Then it moves on to walk to storage. Then it get part medium. And then pack. And then update order sheet. And then it will roll back to get work order because there's no number six. So it's going to take you back to that. If I stop it again, I can go back into the elements one more time. And let's just say there was two other activities that might happen together. I'll just make them up here. So let's just say update IT record. So I might touch on that. I'm going to put a value. And let's say I put a value of 21 in there. So I put 21. And then I'm going to say that's always followed by some other one. right? Or maybe they're always going to wait work after that. So let's do it on the wait work. And we'll do a value. And we'll put a 22 in there. So we touch that, put a 22 in here. So now I've actually got two sequences in here. I've got 21 and 22 that you can see here. right? And I've also got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. So the 21 is actually going to be triggered by the update IT record here. So um, if you make the wrong selections like I did there, I touched it and it popped up. You use the back uh, figure right on the device itself to take you back out again. Okay. Again, use to get back to the main data entry. Click on the back up the top right. And now we're going to start. So we start. Now, number one is the default. So you just get work order, walk to storage, get part medium, pack, and then update. And then it's going to go back to get work order and continue on that. Now, if I change it now and I go to update IT record, which is our number 21, when that finishes, it's going to go to wait work. Right? When that finishes, it's going to go back to update IT record. And then they're waiting on work. So maybe there's some other process going to be done there. So you see it rolling around here. But if I go back, let's say, to pack, it will know it's smart enough to know that pack is part of our sequence. So when I hit the time, it's going to do update order sheet, and we're back into the first sequence again. So you can make good use of the sequences to speed your data entry as you go through the, uh, the process here.